The Ron kit I built this printer from came with a brass brush as a nozzle cleaning setup. The problem with that is that brass brushes are not recommended for plated nozzles, which I do have. This is a shame because I can't use it and I never got around upgrading it to something that works for my nozzle. So let's do something about it. Here you can already see the new nozzle cleaner in action. I have been showing it in the previous video where I made a number of upgrades to the printer, including the new and shiny tool head. But I never quite spent the time to explain the new setup and how I went about building it. So here is what went into creating this nozzle cleaner and how the macro that runs it works. I started by researching what's available. This one here is the original one. And the author has already alluded to that there might be a silicon version there in the future, but it never really arrived. This one here is interesting. It uses silicon sheets and it seems pretty easy to build. And lastly, this one here uses brushes that you would use for baking or cooking and you just cut them to length. Both versions are pretty interesting, but require stuff that I just don't have lying around at home. Looking at the X1 Carbon, you can see that they use this little bobbin to clean the nozzle. And here is a close-up of it. The key feature is this tube here in the middle. It is a soft-ish material. It might be silicon, but I don't really think it matters as long as the tube is somewhat soft and can withstand the heat of the nozzle. Like this PTFE tube that I have here. So I'm going to design something that uses the same assembly as the X1 Carbon and this PTFE tube here. So this is the original design and you can see this is the place where the brass brush would go. The two, I think, M2 screws here, self-tapping, are meant to hold the bolt plate so that you can index it against it when you put it into the printer. I found them very thin and very flimsy and they would bend out of shape after a couple of usages, which is not really useful then. And here in the back, you can basically see how the cleaner is mounted to the extrusion with uh, two T-nuts and over goes the purge bucket that holds basically purged filament. And you can see that the screws here are aligned perfectly with two magnets that will go into these two spaces here. And this is the new design. I am using the same end here, so the bucket will fit right over it. However, I'm using much beefier M3 screws here that will uh, be much more rigid and won't be bent easily out of shape. And this is the star of the show. This is the PTFE tube, um, the M2 screw, that holds it in place. And this shape here allows the entire assembly to flex when the nozzle engages with it. The print came out quite nicely. There's a little bit of an issue there at the place where the screw for the sheet goes. But other than that, it was pretty good. I also printed this one here that is used to cleanly cut off a piece of PTFE tube. So I just measure the 12.1 millimeter that I want to get. Then put the piece over for cutting. Make sure that the PTFE tube has the right length, it's good in place so that it can't wiggle around or like move away. And then just use a hobby knife and cut it off cleanly. And there you have it, a nicely cut off piece of 12 millimeter PTFE tube. The assembly is as simple as it can get. It's just adding the PTFE tube and then screwing in the M2 screw. And that's really it. Similarly, the installation is pretty straightforward too. I have one T-nut already installed, then put it in, index the assembly against the heat bed, and then try to slide in another T-nut and screw it down. And there we go, pretty straightforward. Before I can explain the macro for cleaning, I need to find a position for the nozzle that is right around the nozzle cleaner so that I can get the nozzle to swipe over the nozzle cleaner. The process of actually cleaning the nozzle consists of four steps. First, heating up the nozzle 
to the temperature that will be used to print the filament so that some filament can be extruded. Then actually extruding some filament and then cooling down the nozzle to either room temperature or to 150 degrees depending on the filament and the print leveling setup that I'm using. And lastly, swiping the nozzle over the cleaner to break the now cool filament off the nozzle. And here's the same just from the front. Again, extruding some filament, cooling it down using the part cooler, and then breaking off the cooled filament with the nozzle cleaner. I might need to do something about catching that filament. And here is the macro for the nozzle cleaning. It's based on the original Perch Bucket mod that I was showing earlier. It has a bunch of variables that are all well documented. And it takes in two parameters that both are optional. The Perch parameter determines the temperature at which the filament is perched. If no temperature is set, no perching will happen. The clean temperature is the temperature we want to reach before we clean the filament. If no temperature is set, cleaning will happen right away. The start of the macro is just positioning the tool head. Then, if the perch temperature is higher than 150 degrees, it is set and the tool head will be heated to the temperature and some filament will be extruded. Similarly, if a clean temperature is set, the macro waits till the temperature is reached, then some more positioning, and then finally, the sweeping over the nozzle cleaner. And that's pretty much it. And with that, I have a new nozzle cleaning setup. It's yet another step towards a printer that is just super reliable and needs no extra attention. I just can send over a file and everything else will work automatically. Cat and code are available on GitHub and linked below. If you found that interesting, please leave a like. And if you want to see more of these videos, please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching and see you next time. Ciao, ciao.